Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. Just look at the wetness on this thing. Oh yeah. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Yeah, everybody impressive. But never duplicate. Oh great. Spare parts. All right, so the Kramer Focus 6000 is complete. It's put together, it's done, finito, whatever other words that you can come up with as far as calling it a working machine now, it's done. Ran across a few problems, ended up straightening them out. One of them was the toggle switch over here on the side. Uh, I really wanted to use the one that came with the guitar itself. But that one had some issues with it where it would work when i tested it it worked on and off or on on um but i didn't wiggle the switch when i was switching it back and forth as i was testing it when i got it mounted on the guitar and i would go to switch it uh it would cut out a little bit and I'd wiggle it and come back and there's no sur serviceable parts in those switches, so it's like, okay, well, there's not much I can do but replace it. So I ended up finding one that has basically the same style as far as the original, where it's tapered at the bottom and gets wider at the top, keeping the look somewhat factory. Now, the second problem I had was with the post over here on the Floyd Rose. This one was okay, but this one was kind of loose where it was the Floyd Rose and the string tension was pushing the post basically forward a little bit to where, well, that's going to be bad. It would throw your intonation off, possibly uh, not stay in tune when you would use the whammy bar or just simply play the guitar. So that had to be addressed, had to be fixed. Unscrew the post, take the post completely out, and basically these things are pretty damn deep. Half of the hole, or most of the hole is threaded. The top part of the hole um, fits these, like a little bit of a, uh, a shank of the screw to where there's no threads on it. So part of the hole had to be threaded and the other part of the hole had to be kind of drilled out a little bit uh, bigger than the threads in order to fit properly. Now. I thought about just taking a piece of oak dowel rod, oak is pretty hard wood, uh, drill out the hole a little bit bigger, glue in a oak dowel rod and basically uh, you know, redrill the hole for the, the posts to go back in and just reuse the hardware that came with the guitar. Then the subscriber ended up telling me that, well, why don't you go and uh, look at the Godo sleeves and posts for Floyd Roses and end up replacing it with a metal sleeve. This way, it'll last a lot longer. You don't have to worry about the threads being stripped out into wood with the metal. You know, it'll just overall be a little bit better of a situation. So like, I kind of thought about doing that, but I was worried about there's not a lot of wood on each side of the Floyd Rose. They routed a lot of it out. And where these uh, posts are, there's not a lot of meat going around the side, especially like on this side over here and this side over here. This side's not too bad. But the walls would be really thin. So I ended up going through my parts and I looked at the Godo first and I was like, okay, well, the Godo sleeves are 11 point something millimeter, I believe, with an uh, 8 millimeter screw or maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I ended up using my uh, caliper, doing a little bit of figuring out over here, and it's like, yeah, 11 millimeters anything over 11 millimeters it's just going to be way too much meat to drill out to insert the sleeve and not worry about when you insert the sleeve because it is going to be under pressure you, you don't want to put them in loose may have a problem where it's going to crack the wood and now i'm going to have more of an issue than what i really wanted but i ordered the koto sleeves and post anyways uh I could just keep them on hand. So I went through my parts and I found brand new, uh, never used, Floyd Rose Special sleeve and post. So I was like, okay, this may work a little bit better. The sleeve itself is a little bit bigger than 10 millimeters. 
and the post itself oh i can't remember what the post size was as far as the diameter goes but anyways it would work out better because it's not 11 millimeters plus so what i ended up doing is the original holes were very very deep because of the length of the screw and how the screw was as far as having the area uh, above the tapered part of it where the blade meets up having no threads so what i ended up doing is i got a piece of oak dowel rod uh, measured out the depth of the hole, measured out the sleeve of the uh, Floyd Rose Special mount, uh, took a drill bit that was, uh, oh boy, I can't remember what it was, but it was a size, the drill bit was the size of the hole itself where the sleeve is for the old mount. Drilled in there, basically what I did is I put it on the mill, uh, used it as a drill press, drilled out the hole all the way down, nice and straight, and took the dowel rod, stuck it on the lathe, cut it down to the diameter that I needed to fit inside the hole all the way at the bottom. I glued it in. So now I have the length of the new sleeve that's going in here. And the bottom of it is going to be uh, supported with wood and wood glue, making that area hopefully a lot stronger now. So measuring the sleeve for the Floyd Rose Special, it's a little bit over 10 millimeters all right so what i ended up doing is i got a 10 millimeter drill bit, drill bit put the guitar back on the mill and ended up uh, drill pressing uh different stages of drills i just didn't plunge in a, a uh, 10 millimeter into this hole uh without making sure i ended up widening the hole a little at a time to get up to the 10 millimeters otherwise if i would just plunge the 10 millimeter millimeter bleh, millimeter in here i wouldn't know if the hole was going to be centered where it's supposed to and possibly could make the sleeve a little bit off from what the floyd rose is so basically did things the right way now what i ended up doing with this too is the Floyd Rose Special posts are not, um, they're different from the opening that is around where the blade is. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see it shiny on each side over here. So what I ended up doing is I took the posts, put them on the lathe. Now I can uh, use the lathe as far as getting something to a different diameter. But when it comes to like V-ing, the shape that's inside of here for the blade to ride out. That's a little bit more difficult for me because there's a certain way you would run the lathe as you're cutting, you're basically pulling back and going on an angle that are moving side to side at the same time to make the angle proper. So I gave that job to my father to do. And also the shank part that's underneath the V um, was a little bit wider for the Floyd Rose. So the Floyd Rose is pretty, that's plate is pretty thick. So I had these guys lathe down and ended up uh, working out perfect. I ended up drilling, drilling out the hole, getting into the 10 millimeter, putting the sleeve in to where it bottomed out at the piece of dowel rod that's at the bottom of it, worked out perfect. So the sleeves are flush with the body of the guitar in this route. And, well, now you're looking at the complete job of it. Floyd Rose works. Everything goes back to home place. Um, I do have a stopper in the back. Now, I'm going to remove the whammy bar because I'm going to flip this thing upside down so you can take a look at what the back is. Now, this thing is stock as far as the wiring goes. There is no fancy wiring on this thing whatsoever. So, however, the original guitar was, you got your volume, tone, tone. Uh, you got your uh, neck tone, and then you have your center tone. There is no tone on the bridge. All right. The only thing that is on the volume control is there is a treble bleed on it. Uh, this switch here basically throws the pickup out of phase when it's in humbucker position and you flip it forward it basically acts as a guitar kill uh, five-way switch works basically like a five-way switch would work so let me flip this thing upside down over here and as you can see I went with the clear Back plates, kind of my signature thing here. 
so the clear black plate so you can see I got the new block inside of here it's a brass block um, it is a 34 millimeter length block fits in here perfect I got enough room on both sides I could probably go with maybe a 37 millimeter but I don't have a 37 millimeter got the Floyd Rose stop inside here which is an actual Floyd Rose part the wiring, uh, you know, how I am as far as the way the wiring looks and exposing it. I kind of like the way, um, uh, just show off your work basically is what I'm doing. And I like the way that it looks as far as using the different color codes or a different color of uh, insulated wiring. And uh, I always use the braided cloth. I do have the wired, uh, the wired mesh cloth wiring which is a ground and a positive wire the positive is in the center ground is the wire mesh on the outside i do have a lot of that but i use that very sparingly because it's pretty expensive wire and i don't want to just waste it on anything so that's that going with the kramer logo on here i had to basically hunt this down and i tell you this was pretty damn hard to find the neck is your original Kramer neck for the focus. I got the, was it a 42, uh, the nut that's for inside is the correct nut. Tuners are not the correct tuners. These are Goto tuners. I ended up going with something a little bit uh, better than what the stock would have been. Now, if you remember with this guitar, there was a crack and it showed over here uh, in the finish and in the wood. Now, you can't even tell there was a crack there. All you see is the striping going downwards with the wood. On the flip side of things, for the headstock, same thing. You can't even tell that there was a broken crack going across here anymore. You do see a little bit of remnants on the side, on both sides, but nothing, you can't feel anything. Everything is nice and smooth. Fret job came out really, really nice on this guitar. I went with a uh, GM pickups, and they actually sound pretty good, and I'll end up doing a little bit of a clean thing. But most of all, the wet look. I mean, for an old-ass body that was in pretty rough shape, I wouldn't say really bad shape, but it was in rough shape, really came out really nice. It's got that nice wet look to it, like it, there's water on it. Sanding, buffing, polishing, unlike how this guy does shit. But all in all, she's ready to go. And with some spare parts. So I'm not going to throw in the switch or the original post set for the Floyd Rose, but I do have the original back covers. They're a little rough. But they are the original ones to this body came with it and if whoever wants or buys a guitar or whatever they can go ahead and put those covers back on if they really wanted to so all in all let's try to do a little bit of a sound test